<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my wife and I would like to thank. <laughs> we would like to thank everyone for coming to our special day today, especially for those that have come far and wide. And but before I go any further, I would like to raise a glass for those who are not with us today. Hopefully, they're looking down at us, and celebrating with us today. You are the strongest woman I've ever known in my life. You've always put others before yourself, and I don't know where I would be without you. And I can't imagine my life without you. Uh, right, here we go. Um, just before I begin, a quick word about those who couldn't make it today. Uh, two granddads, Ken and Ken. Big granddad, little granddad. And of course, my mum, Janet. No, it's fine. <laughs> Your dad. Yeah, right, okay. Your granddads. And, but good to see we've got Keith and Valerie here. And of course, Hazel. Hurrah! Hurrah! So many of you all know, uh, this has been uh, quite a few trials and tribulations to get here today. Uh, one of these is a subject close to my heart. I tried very hard to persuade Millie to arrive in a small armoured vehicle. She said no, which is probably correct, to be fair. So actually, um, can I just actually, can I present to Millie and Alex a small gift from me? Just remember what could have been. Hello. Little gift from me. Uh, what could have been? So, Alex, um, no minutes I do, advice for Alex, okay, advice for Alex, just say yes, okay, um, advice for Alex in a wider context, um, number one, keep your mothers-in-law happy and close, okay, at your peril do you cross them, uh, number two, do not cross Harriet, She does a very mean dead leg, as I know to my God. Number three, do not part with Lottie. You won't survive. 
Uh, and number four, uh, just by your father-in-law, a pint of beer occasionally. We're so easy to please, aren't we, really? Yeah, just a pint of beer, you know, just occasionally. Uh, right, uh, so, right, okay. Uh, right, Alex, um, uh, could you put your hand on Millie's hand? That's it. Just feeling okay? Feeling okay? That feels quite nice? That is the last time you'll ever have the upper hand. <laughs> so, Alex and Millie, as you begin your journey together today, I'm excited for the future. Uh, you'll have trials and tribulations, but I know, Alex, you're a good man, and you will take care of our Millie. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With, with all that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. In the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Alexander, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Before we start, I want to do a huge shout out to the bridesmaids who absolutely smashed it this morning. To the bridesmaids. I mean, I was useless. And these guys dressed me, got everything, and I was freaking out in the bathroom. So, well done. Yeah, I was drinking in the bathroom. Yeah, thank you. Um, also, Millie, you look absolutely incredible. Big cheers for Millie, please. You look like a princess. Um, okay. <laughs> you always wanted to be a princess growing up, and now you actually look like one. I remember when I used to play in the garden in my combat trousers, rolling around in the mud, and Millie would be standing at the window inside, waving like a princess fairy wand. I assumed she was doing some sort of spell to make me disappear. But now here we are, at your wedding. Um, Growing up, I always wished Millie would do just something wrong. <laughs> just one small thing to hit, take the heat off of me. Okay? Um, oh, that was actually Millie that stole all the booze from your cupboard. It, was, it wasn't me. It was Millie. However, in the small circumstances Millie did something wrong, it still somehow fell on me. <laughs> do you remember, okay, when you gave Dad the middle finger even though you didn't know what it meant, and you came up to me and told me off. <laughs> I didn't 
teach them what to do. To the parents. I did threaten you both that if you annoyed me this week, I wouldn't mention you in the speech, but you know, I'm feeling the love, so it's fine. They say that when you get a new partner, you don't take them home to meet the family because it's all fun and cute. You take them home to meet the parents so that they can understand why you are the way you are. <laughs> I'm just saying. But seriously, to both of you, thank you so much for everything you have done for us. I feel like parents are very underappreciated and I honestly don't know how you do it, to be honest. Millie and I both look up to you very, very much and we love you a lot, obviously. Mom, I'm only going to ever say this once. No, 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 wait. I'm only going to say this once. You are right about everything in life. <laughs> Mills, I will be here for you forever, obviously, but now you have Alex too. I hope one day I get to be a fun auntie to your kids. I'll be the one that has ten dogs and your kids call that strange lady who keeps trying to give me wine. <laughs> My last thing to say is I wish you both so much happiness and all you have to do is just be kind to each other and take care of each other. I'm Jez, I am the, I'm, I'm not unfortunate, but the father of the groom. As Al was growing up, we were beginning to wonder when he would produce his first girlfriend. And we were getting a bit worried. <laughs> and then suddenly one day, Millie is a name that's dropped into a conversation. But we never met her for some weeks, months. And my wife Sue is very much a person that likes to meet boyfriends, girlfriends, as soon as she possibly can. And she was putting a lot of pressure on um, Al to produce Millie. So, eventually, Millie comes round, and we thought, Al, you're really punching above your weight here. <laughs> you know, what's, what's going on here? You know, beautiful. Beautiful, yes, Al. <laughs> agree, cool. agree, yeah. 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 Um, I'll take it. You know, we got on like a house on fire, and when Sue had got about three bottles of wine down there, um, <laughs> we were able to find out, you know, she was a really, really genuine person, and a real, a, you know, someone that Al would really find lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my wife and I would like to thank... We would like to thank everyone for coming to our special day today, especially for those that have come far and wide, like my godmother Trish and Georgia from New Zealand, Denise and Lane from California, and Alice from Abu Dhabi. And but before I go any further, I would like to raise a glass for those who are not with us today. Hopefully they're looking down at us, celebrating with us today. I would like to thank the bridesmaids for keeping, well, trying to keep Millie calm and stress-free today. <laughs> I think I can speak for Millie here. Without you girls, she would have been beyond the stressed out without your help. You all look beautiful today and appreciate all the, sorry, <laughs> appreciate all the help that you've provided today. Cheers to you girls. <laughs> And now from the groomsmen, thank you for getting me to the pub to have a drink before the ceremony to calm the nerves. I really needed it. <laughs> but in all seriousness, thank you, for, thank you for being the best groomsmen that I could ever ask for and for being the best friends and brothers that I can ask for. Cheers to you, lads. <laughs> to Harriet, I want to say thank you. <laughs> Don't worry, it's, good, it's nice, it's nice. To Harriet, I want to say thank you for always looking out for Millie and I. We would always do the same for you, and I've gained, and I've gained a great sister-in-law today. <laughs> 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 
and thanks for your support throughout the wedding too. So cheers to Harriet, everyone. For Millie's mum and dad, I want to thank you both for welcoming me into your families with open arms. I'm truly grateful that you've allowed me to marry Millie today. Thank you. For mum and dad, I want to apologise for the times that I've embarrassed you on days out when I used to run around with my pants and red gap hat. <laughs> that was only last week, everyone. <laughs> but when I first met Millie, I knew she was the one for me. Every time we met, I was always looking forward to the next time. It took us five years to get here, and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together. If I could give you one thing in my life, it, I would give you the ability to see yourself through my eyes. Only then you would realize how special you are to me, and that you are the best that's ever happened to me. There's more. If I did anything right in my life, it was when I gave my heart to you. Oh yeah. <laughs> you were the strongest woman I've ever known in my life. You've always put others before yourself. And I don't know where I would be without you. I can't imagine my life without you. On behalf of Alex and Minnie, thank you for being here, sharing this special day. I know some of you have travelled from far away. I still find it amazing what people do for a free meal. <laughs> <laughs> I will remember the first time I saw Alex. I was at school in Futech. I looked out of the window and saw the new intakes of students. One boy, one boy stood out from the crowd. He had skin like soft silk, big blue eyes, a button nose, and big blonde Afro <laughs> Love is an awesome force. It can make us do things we never imagined possible. For you see, we don't actually choose love, it chooses us. And when it does, we are powerless to do, to do anything about it. I'm Harry, the other best man. Or as of, of you might call me, the bestest man. If you had told me nine years ago that Alex was gonna marry the most beautiful girl in the world, I wouldn't have believed you. However, he's gone on, only gone and married the most beautiful and kindest girl in the universe. I'm so proud of both of you. I love you both very much. Like my civil life, I'm serving high. Up here I don't get tired.